two and a half weeks ago, South Carolina passed a new law, which allows for some sex offenders, some registered sex offenders, to apply to come off of the sex offender registry. Um, the requirements are very strict and uh, very onerous. Um, they have to have not reoffended and not committed any registry violations for 15, 25, or 30 years, depending on what type of sex offender registry uh, they're required to be on. They have to submit uh, a lot of documentation showing that they have completed treatment programs. Um, there's a lot of technical information that they have to submit. And um, initially, SLED will review those documents, and if SLED denies their request, then they can apply uh, to the court to be relieved of the registry requirements. Um, while the general public may not understand why people should be allowed to get off of the sex offender registry, in South Carolina, we have one of the most comprehensive sex offender registries in the country. And prior to this, we were the only state in the country that did not allow any mechanism at all um, for people to come off of the sex offender registry throughout their lifetime. So just for some examples, uh, it used to be be before 2006, it used to be that um, if two teenagers who were in the same high school, in the same class, but were different ages, had consensual sexual conduct, that uh, the male could be charged with criminal sexual conduct with a minor and then required to register for life. Now, it could be that those two people end up getting married, having a full life together. He's still going to be required to register for life. It could be that that person goes on to have a productive career, never reoffend, um, become a pillar of the community, and he's still going to have to register for life. There was no way prior to this new legislation for anyone to come off the sex offender registry. Under this new legislation, there is at least a mechanism uh, to apply to come off of that registry. Um, another example is uh, there's a crime called indecent exposure, and that is um, that can be, you know, leaving a bar while drunk and you decide to uh, urinate in public. That's indecent exposure. And that potentially could carry the sex offender registry. Um, again, that would be a requirement for life, uh, for, for one drunken night deciding to pee in an alley. Um, again, the requirements are very strict. They are very technical. And even determining whether someone is eligible currently or when they will be eligible in the future to apply to come off of the sex offender registry, it, it's very complicated. And we recommend that anybody who wants to apply to come off of the registry consult with an attorney before doing so. Um, if you attempt to submit an application yourself, you can. You don't have to have an attorney. But if you submit an application yourself to SLED to come off of the registry and you commit a technical uh, violation, you didn't include the right paperwork, or you missed the, the date that you would be eligible by a few months, it doesn't really matter the reason. If that application is denied, it's going to be five years until you can reapply to come off of the sex offender registry. So that's why at our office we're recommending that anybody who thinks they may be eligible um, to apply to for relief from the sex offender registry that they consult with an attorney before they attempt to apply.